WWE are working with Dark Side of the Ring on a new series. Plus, a top AEW star was injured on Dynamite, and absent AEW stars are returning soon. It's all in the wrestling news right now. It bears repeating that WWE were not happy with some of the portrayals in Dark Side of the Ring. So I am as surprised as anybody to hear that WWE are working. My eyes twitching, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. WWE working with Dark Side of the Ring seemed very out of the realms of possibility simply because, you know, we had the plane ride from hell episode, numerous episodes about some of the, the shadier past of some of the performers. So very surprised to read this morning via the Wrestling Observer that they're working with the creators of Dark Side of the Ring on a new series. Absolutely. Um, Dwayne Johnson, Seven Bucks Promotions and Evan Husney and Jason Eisner of Dark Side of the Ring are going to be producing a new TV series for Vice covering the territorial days of pro wrestling. So it would focus on a different major territory each week. Um, and also they're going to be talking about women's wrestling and the territorial days and all that sort of stuff as well. So I, I think it sounds like an awesome show, but you're totally right in that the fact that they are working directly with WWE on this stuff, and you would imagine that they'll be using some of the archive uh, footage and all that sort of thing. Um, it is a shock because that dark side of the ring and the, the producers, I guess, I guess by association have caused a lot of headaches for WWE. WWE. Not that they didn't necessarily deserve some of those headaches, um, but there have been people who have essentially been not blackballed, but they've been taken off of WWE programming due to those documentaries. Mm, so I wonder whether it's just a case of, you know, keeping them closer, potentially, by yeah. having them on, on the books. You may be stop some of the more negative energy about them happening? Yeah. Maybe. Perhaps, perhaps. Maybe. Um, moving on, with the dark side of the, the ring stuff, um, it, it's not going to be renewed. It hasn't been renewed for a season yeah. four. Maybe this has something to do with it. Maybe the fact that they're not producing that show anymore means that WWE are willing to work with them because they're not going to continue uh, often like slagging off the company um, event, uh, essentially. So the, it caused a lot of headaches, a lot of controversy coming off, especially the plane ride from hell episode. Some of the, not just the incidents on screen, but for example, Tommy Dreamer's comments regarding yeah. Ric Flair. Um, so yeah, very, very controversial indeed. Um, and essentially they've got to the point now, it seems according to the Observer once again, that they're sort of running out of people to talk to the people involved like where wrestling is such a small community of people and some of the biggest voices now have said that they don't want to work with them again so rob van dam was very openly critical of the way that he was portrayed jim ross said that he won't work with them again uh, tommy dreamer as well um quite understandably won't be working with them again so yeah no season four which actually i'm i'm a bit gutted about because i think it's probably the best wrestling documentary series that has ever been produced there could potentially be a dark side of the ring on dark side of the ring in this particular case i think now i don't know whether i've been hanging out with my mate gordo from those conspiracy guys a bit too much but you know how um mlw recently have put in a lawsuit to wwe mm -hmm. saying that uh, wwe blocked mlw from working with vice wwe yeah. went no that's not happening it's silly and today here we are talking about wwe making a tv series for vice Interesting timing, eh? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, Gunter was on Cultaholic this week, and uh, it was great to have a chat with him. And he was very open about a, a real elephant in the room there. He got called up to SmackDown. Of course, there were new names. Of course, there was new branding. There was new coloring for, for the outfits and stuff. But one person missing, and that was Fabian Eichner. 
bit of a shame, isn't it? Just, it really just the two is. of them. Is, I mean, it's, it's not a stable anymore, is it? No, <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a team, or a seeming like a manager and a, yeah. and a muscle. Uh, when I spoke to Gunter about it, you can watch it on the Cultaholic YouTube channel right now. Uh, he described uh, the rough few days that they had uh, in the former Imperium camp when the news was announced that Gunter and Barcel, as he was then known, would be getting the call up to SmackDown. He said, uh, and when I asked, like, who would you consider to join you two on SmackDown? His first answer was, well, it's, it's of course, it's Eichner. <laughs> the guy that was with us to yeah. begin with. Poor bloke. That's, Obviously, that's for fun. him and Ludwig, it was a little bit rough for a few days because they worked so hard together for many years, former NXT tag champion several times over. Now everybody has to go their own way a little bit, but he tells us that Eichner is currently in good spirits and just kind of wait and see what happens next. I do hope we get something. Fingers across from for him. him. I mean, you've, if you wanted to play into the whole um, sort of tag team wrestlers uh, who have got nothing going on, you could put him and Wesley together, I guess. Make a, it's, a, it's a strange one. It's a weird sort of cross section. Just bring could him they... up and put him with guns. Right? <laughs> just, just... I mean, there's that. There is that. I don't understand why you wouldn't. Like he's really, really solid in the ring, and like have Gunter as the final boss of that trio, mm. right? So maybe when, yeah, maybe when a baby phase works through the other ones, or whoever works through the other ones, then you you get to Gunter as the as the last step. But... What was interesting is obviously Gunter's been presented as a heel on SmackDown um, at the NXT live show last night that we went to. He was baby SmackDown face against live show. Sorry, yeah, SmackDown live mm. show. Uh, he was um, he was babyface last night. I think you know he's going to get cheer uh, cheered in the UK. Like UK fans are pretty familiar mm. with him. It was it was interesting that they they did that. It was a bit of a depleted roster as well, wasn't it last night? The yeah. fact that, for example, there weren't many tag matches. I think there was one tag match on an eight match card, maybe a yeah. seven match card. The rest were singles. It was a limited number of people that they had, so maybe their hands were tied a little bit. But people are going to cheer Gunter because he chops really hard, <laughs> and he's been all over the UK. Okay, for a long time he was gonna get cheered wasn't he maybe, maybe it was that maybe uh we have an aew star potentially out with an injury who are we talking about today adam it's not a surprise it's sammy guevara um obviously he lost the tnt title this week uh, to scorpio sky during that match there was a frankly ridiculous spot that shouldn't have happened to begin with so he goes up top on the ladder up top 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 top, 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 uh, top, top goes top. for a 630 like splash body block it's called here and I mean, here we call it half six <laughs> God's sake, show the bears again. Um, for, uh, he didn't he didn't get all of it. Let's let's say that. Mm. Uh, Scorpio Sky basically was put in an impossible situation and that you couldn't safely catch that. If you watch it, he comes down with such speed that yeah. there was no point that you could put your arms out and grab him. And it's something that Sammy's done a fair few times. Don't get me wrong, it's really impressive the stuff that he is able to do. But it's not the first time that he's taken a pretty nasty tumble and it's sort of been his fault. The, 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 it was not on Scorpio Sky, this one, was no, it? No, 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 no. This is just, you know, it's the, it's the nature of the beast, isn't it? Uh, so it was, I think it was unsafe. I, it, looked, it looked pretty dodgy to me. I, yeah. I th I, may, maybe it wasn't the intention. Maybe he did the move wrong or something like that. But if that was the intended thing, if he was going for the, the 630, then you're moving so quickly that catching somebody... I don't know. In terms of like how he's doing, obviously the, the concern is that he is injured. How injured? Well, he's set to compete at Triple Mania this weekend in a triangle mixed tag t uh, team with Ty Conti. So we're going to see really if, if, if he does anything. And if he does, what does he do in the ring? As, in terms of how injured he is, one to keep an eye on. I hope he's all right. Just be yeah. a bit more careful. Just be careful, yeah, Sammy. Sort out, Sammy. Be careful. Yeah. Uh, final and more. Uh, a little bit of news about Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford. Penelope. Uh, we haven't seen much uh, from either. I mean, Kip has been in the crowd. Mm. Uh, for AEW shows. The, Bring a bag on his head. And it hasn't been acknowledged by commentary. It's just happened and it's just a thing. I quite like it, but it has been going on for a while now. Yeah, it has. Uh, I, I guess we'll see where it ends up. I'm not that optimistic. No. Uh, we So Kip Sabian due to uh, get back in soon because Penelope Ford is set to return soon as well. Kip Sabian and Penelope Ford uh, were one of the, the early signings of AEW. And uh, obviously now they're going through a point where a lot of those 
early signings have, are moving on. Uh, some are being re-signed. I feel like Ford and Sabian will stick around a little longer. It looks that way, doesn't it? it? Because like with, with Marco way. Stunt, obviously, uh, and a few others, they they didn't they weren't going to renew their contracts, so they just pretty much stopped using them. They didn't have anything for them. But the fact that Kip Sabian is still on TV, sort of, with a bag on his head, um, then hopefully he sticks around. He's a very very talented wrestler. I, I think like as a cocky heel. Uh, it, it really works. So mm. I'm interested to see what they do with him. And yeah, I, I hope he does stick around. Looking forward to seeing more from them. And if you want more wrestling news throughout the day, it's cultaholic.com to do that. Uh, what's happening over the weekend? Do we know? Oh, what have we got? We've, we've got, we we got, got some interesting interviews from backstage at a certain WWE mm. SmackDown house show, live event, sorry. Uh, we've also got some, some lists. <laughs> the, <laughs> haven't quite figured it out yet. The Cultaholic Classic <laughs> SmackDown review on the podcast feed tomorrow. Matthew, Greg and I watch every old episode of SmackDown from the very beginning to its bitter end. Not all in hours. one episode. They, they, they space all, out one a week. We do them all together. <laughs> yeah, right. Seven million hours. And of course, the latest wrestling news throughout the day and across the weekend at cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Love you, Bear.